Welcome back, VC. Mark here. Welcome to Recent Vinyl Finds number 40. I'm going to start out with three OJC pressings. So happy to bring these into my collection. I purchased these titles at my local record shop. I can't champion these pressings enough. The quality is outstanding. They're still reasonably priced. Get them while you can. Um, two of these titles were priced at $25. One was at $15. The owner gave me a little break. I got them all for 60. The first title is early in the run. It's number seven. Uh, the album was originally released in 1956. Uh, the OJC reissue was released in 1982. Just incredible. Sonny Rollins work time. As you can see, these albums are in beautiful shape. Uh, still in the shrink. I love them when I find them with the uh, with the banner. Um, this is a spectacular recording. Um, Sonny Rollins is not the star on this uh, release. Uh, the players are, of course, Sonny on tenor sax, Ray Bryant on piano, Max Roach on drums, and George Morrow on bass. Max Roach is the star on this recording. His drumming is uh, next level. And this is Bop, Hard Bop. I consider this more of a, a Hard Bop album. There's no business like show business. The other players give Max uh, room to stretch. And what he's doing on that snare is just amazing. Just the control and, and the roles that he's doing. I mean, he was just a phenomenal drummer. Rain Check, another title on the album. Another song where uh, Max just shines. Um, all the playing is phenomenal, but really, uh, Max Roach's playing is uh, just incredible. So this is an analog cut. It was, again, put out in 1982. Uh, the sound quality is just phenomenal. I don't have anything to compare these two. So when I'm listening to an album, especially a jazz album, I'll listen to the drums. I'll listen to the cymbals. Uh, Max Roach used uh, Zildjian A cymbals. A lot of jazz drummers uh, used a Zildjian K. A K has a warmer sound. Um, an A cymbal is a little bit brighter. It still has a warm sound. So if the album is mastered properly, the cymbals will not be too bright. Um, they will be focused, uh, really well defined. And that's exactly what I hear on this album. You can hear all the little nuances of uh, Max's playing the ghost notes, uh, the stick hitting the cymbal. Again, I cannot speak enough about the quality of these albums. This is essential in anybody's collection. I just, I mean, I adore this album. It's, it's just great. The next title is also by Sonny Rollins, Horn Culture, Post Bop. This is OJC number 314. So as you can see, there are several hundred titles in the series. Uh, this was originally released in 1973. This reissue was released in 1987 on the Milestone label. First uh, title, Pictures and the Reflection of a Golden Horn. That's jazz funk. That is a funky track. Um, Dave Lee's drumming, just uh, really, really spectacular. Uh, the musicians give each other a lot of room. You have some squeaking, which I really like, uh, in in small doses. Um, kind of reminds me of James Brown when he would uh, screech and scream in his uh, funk recordings. Has the same effect, especially in that track. Give that one a listen. God Bless the Child is on here. Good Morning Heartache, beautiful track. Uh, let's see, Walter Davis Jr. Piano, Bob Crenshaw, Electric Bass. Just another great Sonny Rollins album. This title is also early in the series. This is OJC number nine. Sonny Stitt, Bud Powell, and J.J. Johnson. This was originally released in 1956. Prestige, 7024. And this also has uh, Max Roach on drums. Uh, let's see, Nelson Boyd on bass, John Lewis on piano. I wasn't as crazy about this title as the other two. Um, there are a couple uh, songs that they included two takes um, on. One is Blue Mode and the other is Fine and Dandy. 
uh, kind of interesting to get a couple different uh, takes. Um, just a bunch of kind of classics on this album. Afternoon in Paris, uh, Sunnyside, uh, Take a Chance on Love. Just a really nice album. I found these next two titles, Digging Down in the Honey Hole. They are both soundtracks, both by very, very well-respected jazz musicians, two of my absolute favorites. Uh, the first one is by Herbie Hancock, the movie Blow Up. This is quite a rare uh, album. I uh, had to look up some information on this one. Number one, it did not list the, uh, the musicians on the album. And number two, I wanted to see if there's a reissue because this is a pricey album. And this was reissued in 2002. And you can uh, usually purchase the album for between $15 and $30. So it's reasonable. If you love Herbie Hancock, um, if you're a completist, this is essential. Pretty much free jazz to beautiful ballads. Again, I looked up some of the players. Uh, just a who's who. Um, Jimmy Smith, Freddie Hubbard, Joe Henderson, Ron Carter. Ron Carter's bass work is top notch. There's a song on this album called The Kiss. Uh, it's a ballad. Jim Hall's guitar playing on that song is sublime. So beautiful. Such a beautiful tone. Um, this is really a phenomenal album. Ron Carter's bass playing is spectacular. A real funky. Uh, the band Delight, uh, they were kind of a dance outfit from, I think, probably the late 1980s through maybe the mid-1990s. Uh, they sampled uh, Ron Carter's bass line from Bring Down the Birds. Uh, they had a hit with a song called uh, Groove is in the Heart. Uh, great sample uh, from this uh, recording. This is a really great soundtrack. Seek this one out. This next soundtrack was composed by Quincy Jones. The Genius. Uh, this is a pristine DJ copy. The Hot Rock. This is from 1972. Beautiful white label promo on Prophecy. This is a nice mix of funk, soul, uh, Little Dixieland. Uh, just a great album. Uh, the plane is outside at times. Uh, excellent musicianship. Uh, they do list the musicians on this uh, album. Uh, Quincy's using just top players. Clark Kelly, uh, Carol Kay, uh, Chuck Rainey. Uh, let's see, who else? Um, Ray Brown. Claire Fisher. Uh, just a who's who of players. So much of the music from these early 1970s soundtracks, a lot of the uh, black exploitation films, um, a lot of it has been sampled. Uh, the Hot Rocks theme, or I'm sorry, the Hot Rock theme from this album, sampled by Eminem, and I'm not sure which album of his uh, that sample is on. But again, just great funk, really good listen. Okay, let's do a 360. I found this album at the Antique Mall in that same vendor's uh, rack that uh, had all the pristine album covers. Um, there was a 10% off sale, so a couple of these titles were uh, $10 each, so got them for nine. This first title is Bossa Nova from Brazil, Astrid Gilberto, arranged and conducted by Gil Evans. Just a beautiful pressing, super clean. These covers are just flawless. And this is on the Verve label. This is what I consider Sunday afternoon jazz. Just put this on with a good book, just get lost. Beautiful recording. The last jazz title in the bunch, purchased this from Amazon, got it for $15. Introducing Kenny Cox and the Contemporary Jazz Quintet. Part of the 
Blue Note Classic series. I have not opened this album yet. Not familiar with the music. Um, let's see. Not sure what year this was released. Regardless, looking forward to giving this one a uh, listen. These next two titles were purchased at the Antique Mall as well. Um, both for $9 each. Wait till you see these jackets. Nothing screams 1960s more than this picture of Nancy Sinatra. Country My Way on the reprise uh, label. She's covering some standards, some not so well-known titles. Um, one with uh, Lee Hazelwood Jackson. Uh, we know that one from Johnny Cash. Oh, Lonesome Me is uh, also with Lee Hazelwood. Lonely Again. When It's Over. Just a fun album. And the next title is Nancy in London. This was recorded in London. I'll take this one out as well. Another beautiful jacket. Steamboat label. Let's see. Uh, she covers on Broadway, The End, Friday's Child, Wishing and Hoping. This was produced by Lee Hazelwood, arranged by Billy Strange. Really nice album. I'm sorry, I forgot. On the Blow Up soundtrack, uh, there was one track by the Yardbirds featuring Jimmy Page and uh, Jeff Beck, Stroll On. Really nice addition to the album. I bought this last album at my local record shop. I do have this title. Mine is in excellent condition. This one is just off the rails. It is perfect. The vinyl, the jacket, the height, the shrink. It was $9.99. Wham! Make it big. This is one of those albums that uh, is going to appreciate in time, my opinion. It's going to be like a, uh, like a Rumors. Millions and millions of copies, but still commanding a premium. Uh, this is definitely one of those titles. All right, that's all I have. Thanks again for tuning in. Stay safe.